when I say, please don't compare me to your average shirt maker, <laughs> I ain't kidding around. Boom, right? Then we got this part right here. Boom, right? But we're not going to use this part because that's for the teeth. It's going to be stones right there. Wait till y'all see what happens to this. All right, let me cut this heat press on. Blinkle. Let that get heated up. It's at 200 right now. It needs to get to 310. Hey, do y'all know? Do y'all know how long I've been doing rhinestones, right? <laughs> it has, you know, unless you dial in the right settings, unless you get, do a test cut of two or three or four or five to make sure that it comes out right, it's not always this easy. But when it is, it's magical. Look at that. Not bad, not bad at all. Got a few of them that didn't come out. I just roll it against my finger and pop those circles out. Those were SS6 stones, by the way, that didn't, the circles didn't come out. But imagine doing this to a design that had over 4,000 rhinestones or 4,000 circles, because there's not rhinestones in it yet. Can you imagine picking each little circle out? I've done it, so I know what it's like. But check this out. I mean, most of the, all of the SS10s except for one. So this SS6 is, you know, they're in there. But watch this. Instead of picking all of those out one by one, just grab a little piece of a carrier sheet. Just grab a little piece of a carrier sheet, like so. Apply it to the carrier sheet. Rub it in. Oh, that wasn't the side. Wrong side. This side. Boom. Rub it in, rub it in. Then you can just pull those circles right up out of there. And there we go. We have our hater proof. We have our teeth that we need for the bingo head. And yeah. This is trash. That's trash. Now we can apply this to our backer board. Now that we have it applied to the backer board, you just wanna brush in just a few stones. Be enough right there. Circular motion. Now, I've been having trouble with these stones lately. Somehow they picked up some type of static. So when I brush them in, and try to brush away the excess stones. Some come with it, but that's okay. All right. We got all but two stones in there, y'all. And of course, you know, you can just place those with your finger like so. 
Let's brush away the excess stones. And I already have a little piece of tape right here. That's not good enough. Let me grab another piece of tape, y'all. Perfect. We don't need the tape to be that big. Where? There it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off a small little piece of this tape. That should be suffice. Pick those stones right up like so. Make sure they're all in the, in the holes. That looks good. We actually leave that down. Head on to the next step. Okay, now here we are back at the shirt. Set that right there. Set that right there. Now this shirt is a big shirt, child. It's kind of huge. It is a 7X. So, let's get the shirt sized up on the heat press, and let's pre-press it to knock those wrinkles out, get any moisture out of the garment. Also, that's a perfect time to set your pressure. That's good. Bada boom, bada bing. First layer going down will be the Bengals head. Well, I actually redid the, the Bengals Tiger. And I'm loving it. Let me double check, make sure I weeded out everything. As I can see, I did not. Grab my weeding tool real quick. Got this one little area here. There it is right there. Weed that right on out. Like so. Boom. It's looking good. Get your placement right. Big shirt for a big guy. So about that's perfect. That looks great to me. Boom. Boom. You know you want to press that on. For about five seconds. Lock it in, lock it in. Let's remove this. Gorgeous. I like to save this just for the rhinestone trick that I showed you guys earlier for the rhinestone flock. Now 
next what I want to press in is this flock but also I have to cut that as well because we don't need these teeth I'll probably save these teeth for something else cut that off here all right let's lay in his eyes and the white color to his fur that looks good you want to cover it up and press that in That's a cool peel. So I'll lift it, let it cool down. Like so. I'm gonna get my phone. All right, all right, all right. We'll let that cool down for a second while I call my baby back. So she don't think something wrong with me. What's, Hi, the, what's going on, baby? Say hi to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. They looking dead at you. Everybody from YouTube, they like, hey. Like, don't be saying her name like that. Y'all don't know her like that. Look at look how good that looks, y'all. I could have left it. I could leave it like this. But wait, there's more. What's going on, baby? Okay. All right, baby. All right, too. All right, so next what we got, what we got here is our rhinestone pieces. So we have this one here for the bottom. I like to lay it flat and press all those stones in. Looks like one may have moved on me. I can slide him right back into place while he's still attached to the, to the backing. And I got a little tool for that. Where is that? I mean, or you can just use your finger. But it's not working like that. So, I'll just lift it up, place it closer, lay it back down, and then move it. There we go. Now lift up my transfer sheet. And let's go ahead and lay this bottom piece in like so. Hmm. Boom, chakalaka. All righty, all right. The next, we have this piece. Oh, I see what I did. Ha ha. So this piece is not ready to go on yet, y'all. Let's lift him back up. That's why I always like to double check my work before I, I press it in, press it in. All right, let's take him off to the side for now. Let's go with the the full bingles. What I like to do is I like to lay it flat, press all them stones in one good last time. All right, now. Uh-oh, there we go, uh-oh. 
And working with big sheets like this, it likes to curl up on you sometimes. And trust me, it will curl. All right. Let's slap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at that, see? All right. Let's slide this down to about right there. Give me more real estate under the heat press for my fingers and my knuckles. I like it. There we go. Boom. And you don't have to try to get it perfect, but just try to get it close. Because you can lightly lift it. Look at that. It's not quite perfect, though. So, let me adjust it. That was close, though. That was real close, y'all. Boom, shakalaka. That looks good. That looks real good, y'all. Let's press this, this joker in there. Like so. Double check it. Make sure it looks good. Lock that in. Lock it in, lock it in. Do it for about 15 seconds. Just to heat up the back of the stones. Let's see if they have locked in. Remove this carrier sheet. Oh, man. Voila. Now I like to put this back on the backing paper. That way I can use it again, especially since I didn't do any sublimation with it. Lay that right back down. Clean as a whistle. Put this back in my bucket over here. Boom. Now, let's get these teeth. Let's get the teeth. Here we have the rhinestone teeth. We're going to set that right there. So I want to use my other phone to take a little short video clip for my other social medias. Check that out, y'all. Check it out, check it out. But wait, there's more. So let's add this the teeth in. That's looking good. You know, cover it up. Now I'm still somewhat undecided, y'all. Somewhat undecided because I'm thinking of adding black. I'm thinking of adding uh, black diamond stone around. The head part here. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I will have to brush in those stones and return to the project. But for right now. And I'm thinking of actually go ahead and adding. Uh, orange stones as well. That looks good right there. But actually, I believe I have to drop it down some, place it in like that. 
to leave room for the other songs. I'm kind of on the fence about it, of how I actually wanted to look. But yeah, I think I'm going to add those stones. Yeah, for sure. Not quite sure. Hmm. Looking good to me. It's looking good to me. But like I say, I'm thinking of adding to this. What y'all think? Okay, okay, okay. For the back of this design, we have this giant dreams. Voila. Let's go ahead and place this on the shirt. Like so. Mm -hmm. Get it up a little higher. I may need a pillow for this, y'all. May need a pillow for this. And that's what I will use. Let me put the pillow inside. Because of those stones. Because of those stones. We have our pressing pillow. Just slide our pressing pillow in like so. That looks good. That looks good. Yes, it does. Slide it up, make sure everything is on the press. Now let's press it in, press it in. No quick press. Let's do that for about 10 seconds. Since there's no nothing else going in this butt stone. Ah. Let's go ahead and slide this off of here like so. Duh. Pull it back like this. Supposed to be seventy nine or ninety seven. I believe it's supposed to be seventy nine. All right. Now over here, flip y'all around. All right, we have our big ninety seven. Let's lift this up. I could have swore I rubbed this in real good, y'all. But of course, 
it likes to give you a little black sometimes. That's why you want to go slow and just peel it back. Don't just snatch it up. You're working with a lot of rhinestones here. Roll it back. Not too fast, y'all. In case the stone doesn't pick up, you want to be able to lay the tape right back down in that spot and lift that stone up. I think I got them all. One more. All right, that's looking good. What I like to do is I like to lay it back. On my carrier sheet. Come on. Uh-oh. Woo! All right. That's gonna have to do like that, y'all. I lay it back on my carrier sheet because it makes it so much easier to cut that way. Now, let me grab my trusty scissors. I got them in my pocket. And let's just cut this in half. All right, we had our seven, and we have our nine. Let's lay the seven first. And we'll come back for the nine. All right, all right. We got this big body seven. The seven lays in perfect. Let's grab that nine. And it lays in perfect. Got some exposed vinyl. Let's just cover that up with our packing paper. I'm going to dial it back just a little bit. I know the last time I had to stand on my tippy toes to get myself leverage. There we have it. Lock that bad boy in. And we're going to go for about 15 seconds on these. And then we're going to pick up the giant and the dreams. That's looking good. That's looking good, y'all. Let's peel this back. Uh, all right, let's remove these two sheets from each other. Boom. That way we can put it back, put it back. Use that on something on the next project. 
see we got that dip right there. All right, here we go. Just like so. Right, that's close enough. Boom. This one had a rhinestone stuck on it from where the rhinestone flipped. After, well, that same. Oh, that. Yeah, that rhinestone did, y'all. Boom. All right. On to the giant dreams. All right, all right, all right. Now, here's what I want a lot of you to take into consideration. Most of my designs on my Etsy shop, they are huge, you know, and I... I got it broken up into pieces so that it makes it easy uh, to lay the stones. Because trying to pick up 4,000 rhinestones at once can, can definitely become a problem. So I broke it up into pieces so that it can fit 11 and a half inch cutters as well as so that you're not picking up, you know, 4,000 stones at once. Let's lay this right here, upside down. For now, let's slide this up. Let's layer in the dreams. Perfect. Now let's layer in, slide it down a little bit, give my knuckles some room. Layer in the giant or giant. Now, I did see that one stone has moved on me, and that's okay. We're still going to press it, we're just going to pop that stone off and replace it. When I get down this far, y'all, I do not like moving. Do not like trying to fix those stones because you can mess up other stuff. All right. That looks good. That looks good. Ah, gotta step on my tippy toes. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to press that in for the total time. 30 seconds. Got about 10 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. We're just going to throw these back on the backing paper. Like so. Woo, look at that, y'all. We can actually hang this little piece up right here on the wall. All right, that stone, that extra stone. Was right there. Let's try to go in there and get it while it's still hot. We got it. Now, when it's still hot, you can sort of take your finger and nudge the stone over. So we got two stones to hand place out of. I believe this is like probably six thousand stones on the back of here, y'all. So let's grab our stones. Here they are, right here. And let's go ahead and place one stone here, top of the seven, and another stone here, 
right inside that A. Sometimes I use tape, sometimes I just flip it with my hand and do what I need to do. Now, of course, you know, to cover it with your packing paper or your cover sheet, whichever you may be using. Those two stones still need 30 seconds, y'all. But typically, I let it go about 20, 25. They won't come off. Especially when you apply that pressure. You know, you stand up on your tippy toes and you lock it in, lock it in. I ended up going 30 anyway. Look at that, y'all. Try to hold it up, see if y'all can see that. That is a lot of rhinestones. Flip it over to the front. Look at that, y'all. If y'all liking this video so far, please, please, please smash that like button. Smash that like button. Also, I want to, in the comments below, let me know who y'all, who y'all got bets on for the Super Bowl. Bengals or the Rams? You know, I'm, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, so I got to go with the Bengals. But this shirt is not done yet. I have to make a run here shortly. I'm going to add the, uh, the orange and maybe black diamonds down here. Not quite sure yet. I'll be back.